pretty impressive, pretty impressive. So running down through, everything's cool, complete. Don't want to engage that one though. Toyo Mazka. Pretty nice though. This is a whole brand new look. A whole brand new look. Just tell me how you feel. If I'm going forwards, this is how it looks, something like that. Pretty good, pretty good though. Pretty sexy though. So, look at that. Let's just push it. Tell me how you feel, how you think. That's how it looks now, so. Obviously, you should know that orange goes well with purple. Also, it goes well with red. So it's like the really, really nice, good, good, good colour. So, yeah, so at the top, they say the two must touch each other and you do the two bottom screws at um, like six newton metres, something like that. So here we are. So there's out in the park. There was some type of rain. However, the rain's gone. So look, look pretty good, pretty nice. So here we are. So look at this. Ooh, absolutely nice, absolutely nice. So, tell me how you feel, tell me how you think, man. This is Specialized Rock Upper Sport 2021 model. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra 4K 60 HDR high bit rate tool. So, we've got the Garmin Explore 2. We've got the Lazine Mega Drive 2400. We've got the Edge Remote. We've got the Triple B Bell. We've got Shimano Dior front and back brakes. We got the one lock remote was for the Rockshot Recon forks, the 2017 model. We got the Rockshot 2017 model forks. We have the um, Nuke Proof Neutron V2 front wheel. We have the Nuke Proof Neutron V2 rear wheel built onto the um, um, Halo Rim Vapor 35 XC rim. We have the SRAM NX, the whole group set. Of course, with the shifter up here, what goes with it. Got Shimano casing. This one's got a SRAM casing. And uh, that one there from a drop processor clock casing. Got out for Hal Halfords. We got the Fun Crossfire stem 50mm. We got the Hope Doctor Hope Spacers. We got the Hope um, ZS44 top. And we got the bottom one. What is the Hope? EC44 was at the bottom so this is actually tapered the forks is at 110 mil so it's boost forks we have the specialized bridge saddle this is your basic bridge one that ain't really a uh, thing but it's really comfortable really nice though for the basic one we've got the cat eye viz 450 okay um we got the RT56 wrote 180 mil front and back, so that's the front one. This is the back one. We got the Crank Brothers Stamp One pedals. These are the large size turquoise. We got the um, oh my god, I gotta remember. This is the Lazain um, let me not get this wrong. There it is. Okay, cool. Lazain. Okay, so this is the Lazain HP floor pump. This one does like 120 FPS. Sorry, 120 um, PSI, not FPS, sorry. And uh, it's got Preston Schrader valve, you could change. But I'm gonna buy the one we've got the electronic um, gauge on it. We've got our Halfords frame bag. This is where I've got my, uh, my power bank in here. I have my little portable fan, Alien 2. And some other tools to get me running. So what else we got on the bike? So we got our Elite Race bottle holder by our Halfords. Uh, we got the Hope Quick Release 135 at the back. And some green craps for front and back. Um, the whole idea of this bike was Project Zorro. However, I couldn't find the right components on the colour. So that project failed. So I just went a bit kind of different. And that's what I did. So we got ourselves the fun. You see here? I always run on fun grips. This is the fun um, compact, um, combat free. 
got that over here so um pretty good however for um what i feel like i'm gonna get this christmas maybe the edge 1050 I'm thinking about that for a christmas present but pretty awesome pretty good though we've got the spank spike 800 riser bars though you can see it down here it says 800 these are um 31.5 inches long so they're very big very long 30 millimeter rise as well you've got 50 millimeter goes up to 70 is it 70 millimeter you can get up to 70 millimeter rise upwards so you got the straight one 15 mil this is the 30 millimeter rise then you've got the 50 and you've got the 70 so 70 is monstrous so i went with 30 i was going to go with 50 but I was like, mm, let me go with 30. If I don't like 50, I can if I don't like um 30, I can always go for 50. That's why I wanted to do it this way. So I think that's all the components I mentioned on the bike. I don't think there's anything else that I've missed. Yeah, yeah, hold on, we have. We've got the Victoria Mazcal tires, um XC12, what is uh 29 X 2.35s. Uh, it's between 29 to 58 psi, two to four bars. That's what we have down here at this moment. We've got my little Nestle Pure Life water. We've got the new proof uh, seat clamp down on this part. Not that bad. I think the seat post is 30.9, and that's was it 34.8? I can't remember. I gotta look it up clamp we've got the cadence sensor two from Garmin and the front wheel we've got the speed sensor two from Garmin that connects to the computer at the top here over here so this is the whole entire bike right now so obviously yes one more last thing we've got ourselves the brand X Xcent X dropper post where this is the 170 mil version that connects to this switch over here and when you see uh, the part where it says core back in the day there's a company that did um, core um, cables and casing and I'll tell you one thing when I was riding my specialized no no not specialized my Norco Havoc my jump bike I had that gear and running that bike for like over 10 plus years and see that core casing when I bought that it never failed it never rusted it never broke it is the best casing I've ever bought so I still keep the caps to these days core was one of the best I've ever touched in when it comes to terms of biking so that's it right here so you can see everything that we're looking at so pretty damn good pretty damn impressive so that's the bike over this part and uh, of course I bought myself the um, silicon case for the Edge Explorer 2 probably like under a week ago yellow looks pretty good says a uh, Garmin at the top of it pretty nice though and that's the whole bike fully really complete really there's nothing really to actually uh, add to the bike that's literally just the uh, <laughs> the whole thing so even though I was going to add something else um, probably add it in like due time but at this moment of time I don't really think there's uh, anything I really need to add because I think I've already done every single thing that was meant to be added so it's pretty 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 impressive pretty good so can't really go wrong with it so when I first bought the bike the bike was like uh 550 pound this is from the uh, uh, specialized concept store Chelmsford Essex uh, White Mountains and um, I had to buy a, a dropout before because where, where I was living before the door slammed and it bent, bent the rear derailleur and when you got 12 speed a little slight bent you got serious gear problems so um, I need to go back there and just buy some fuel to put down a spare probably do it next month august um yeah man not not, not that bad not that bad so everything's pretty pretty good so 
we got uh, the straw hats on my bike. Obviously, I've got straw hats on my hat, so when you see that, you know we us two come together, right? So pretty awesome, y'all, pretty awesome. So let me see if I get myself in the camera. So here we are, here we are. Don't know if I see myself in, but it's ultra wide lens, I should be in the camera, should be able to be seen. So um, this is it, this is it. This is how it go. Just having a good one out. And then, yeah, man, yeah, man. So Saturday, gonna be Saturday night, gonna be out all night. Gonna go, cycle, have a good one, and just enjoy what life got to offer you. Life what got offered. So this is this is pretty much it. So um, when your cassette do get dirty, all you do is just get yourself like some degreaser. If you get yourself like the motorcycle degreaser and you put onto the bike. You won't go wrong because what happens is with the motorcycle one, the motorcycle one is so much better and stronger than the than the bike one. You spray it on, you put water in it, everything comes off, everything just, just drops off to silver clean. I've done it before, so this I'm gonna ride until uh to like December. And then what I'll do, I'll buy something. Like a new cassette, new cassette's £100, chain's at like £23. I'll go Balfies, pick these two up, I'll put them down. And once I put them down, when January comes, I'll just put them onto the bike. However, I'm going to order new jockey wheels because these jockey wheels just look a bit filthy, a bit dirty. Um, don't get me wrong, they still got a lot of good wear life in it, but I may I may have to take, take them off like I did before, strip uh, clean. And uh, put them back in So I'm going to have to do a little strip clean Get the same thing Spray it on there And just clean it off And then Pretty good Let me look for a piece of branch actually Like get something like a stick Or something like this And what we do Ouch, ouch, ouch We'll crouch down And what I'm going to do you see things like this? Sorry, I don't want to get my hands dirty. You think things, things like this? This is all like grass and string and garbage you don't really want in your thing like that. So you have a lot of this rubbish that you need to kind of dig out your components. However, I ain't got no gloves to really um, truly engage in here properly. But you want to kind of... Uh, Make sure you clean this off. Clean out anything what could be stuck in here. Obviously we need to go health foods, get some more gloves. And then we're good to go, so. Let me see, can I get this hold it? Hold, hold for me. There we go. There we go, go dig that out. There you go, dig some of that out. This could cause problems, man. There you go. So there you go. So do something like that, and then you got that, and then from that, pretty good. You can just come here. It's always good to um, have a, like a brush cleaner. And then better clean off your chamber, make sure your chamber is nice and clean and everything like that. So, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, uh, that's it for now. That's it for now. So, so, here we go. Here we go. Specialized rock up of sport, as I said before, 2021 model. This size is the, um, I think it's the large frame, I think it's L. Um, there should be information on the frame However, the information I'm looking for I think the bag's on it The bag's hiding that information So I can't really look at it now Because that's got it So Okay Let me do something like that The bag on the frame, yo So Make sure all this sticks nicely, so Flip some of that. Good job. Let's see what we got. Um, 
Does it show the size? Wait. That couldn't be medium, could it? You see that size there? Say something about M. I think this was actually medium, actually. I think that was a medium. I think the one I wanted was a large. So, yeah, man. So, that's it, really. That's it, y'all. So, gonna wrap this up. Wanna wrap this up. So, um, let me make sure bags on like nice and tight. Let me just make sure I clean this off. Make sure I just pull up like that. Pull it like that. Let's uh, massage it. Ooh, so massage it in. Massage, 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 massage that in like that. That's that done. That's that done. That's that done. Make sure it's all good. Massage it in like that. Massage. Disconnect. Put it in. Let's massage it in, y'all. So there we go, y'all. Yeah man, so that's it your 2021 model. So look like the size is medium. Once I go in my email address, I'll check out the size. And uh if it's what it is, or just check on the website in a bit. If it is medium, then I should have uh, went large. So not bad though, not bad though. So that's it, yo. So 550 pounds just for the frame for the bike alone. Then uh I think the forks I paid for was probably like what? I think I was paying it spade, was it like nearly like something like, like 200 and something plus pound? Was it like 250 or something? I paid for the forks. Stem was like 50 pounds. Space was like, was, that, was it like 11 pound? The headset was around, uh, with that and the doctor, I think it came up to like nearly near 100 something plus pound. But if you add the whole space or the hope spaces and the whole thing, it's probably like a hundred site plus. Uh, I think the front wheel was like 130 pound. The back wheel was probably like nearly, probably like, I don't know, was it like 200 pound or something like that. The cranks was, uh, I think the group set was around, was it like 250 I paid? Something like that. But now these group sets like, uh, 400 pound because what happened was when this was on the sale price I got it for like 200 plus so it's pretty good the dropper post I got for like what 50 pound it was originally 170 pound but when they went into liquidation I got it for 50 pound so yeah I have spent some money on this bike because remember I've changed a lot of parts a lot of components a lot of things I have changed so paid a lot through the time though I'm an X-ray trailer. The cable's still good. The cable's still good. There ain't no breakage or anything snap down here so far. Bit dirty. You need to get like a brush and just clean it off. This just tells you uh, made in Thailand. Rotations that way. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So that's it, man. That's it, man. So sun's out. Sun's out. Just enjoying it. Oh, pretty damn good, pretty damn good. Not bad, not bad. Let me jump, oh my God, that's a bit high. Jump on the bike, cycle this thing. This is how it's looking, so. I don't know how much people will be watching to this point of the video. However, if you did, then you must have been enjoying it to come this far. If you didn't reach this moment, then you probably did it because you want to be hearing me saying this. So yeah, this is it man, this is it, this is it y'all, so, these are the new bars, this is the new, sorry, these are the new stems, pretty damn good. So here we go, yeah.
All right, so um, okay, I got my seat post at five. We still got a good healthy amount of tire left. Don't really get that much punches though. There you go, yo, that's the stem, that's the stem, yo. Yeah, so that's it, really. Now, um, this uh, wraps up the video. Now, ah, this is the best way to end it, actually. Really is, so. Uh, 